Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what sold in January 2019. Um, I'm going to go through the items that sold. I'm going to do my best to... What was that? I'm going to do my best to um, put a photo somewhere on the screen showing the items. I'm still learning how to use Wondershare, which is the uh, video editor that I use, and it's like super complicated, so... Um, I'll do my best. I know the last video I wasn't able to do so. Um, Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my spreadsheet so I can go through with that first. Um, so I went ahead today and I downloaded my sales report for Poshmark and I imported it to my Google spreadsheet which is what I use. If you have a better, you know, a better program that I should be using for this, let me know. I this is just what I've been using, and um, yeah, so that is that. All right, so I have this. This is January Poshmark sales. I went ahead. I have my cost of goods added in. Um, so let's go through and see how many items I sold. So it starts at 13. And it ends at 180. So I sold a total of 167 items in the month of January so far. I still have some things that will probably be accepted before the end of January, which the end of January is tomorrow. So I'm saying by tomorrow, the amount will go up a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so I sold 167 items. Um, I, the total right now of sales is at $2,107. Um, and one thousand five hundred and thirty five dollars is my net after the um, fees have been taken out um, my cost of goods was four forty seven forty eight so I'm still you know above where I want to be I made a thousand extra dollars this month which is good it will probably go up to about I would say by tomorrow if people accept about 1100 maybe 1200 so as a net after cost of goods and such that's that's good for me um, so yeah let's go through and I'm just gonna kind of go through what sold most um, but category wise I sold more tops than anything um, dresses coming in next so obviously I do buy a lot of dresses and tops those are kind of my two main things that I like to sell I have a little bit of everything but um, brand wise uh, let's see. Anthropology, there's a good bit of those. So it was kind of a good mix this month, but I would say overall, my top sellers, as usual, is Free People, Anthropology, Banana Republic, um, J. Crew, Lily Pulitzer, Lane Bryant, Lucky Brand, um, honestly, Zara. So it's. A kind of a kind of a good mix like I've got a lot of stuff in here um, so yeah as for sizing that's a little all over the place I typically find more smalls and mediums than anything and I hate that and I've tried really hard to um, you know change that try to get bigger sizes but um, yeah I would say the majority of the items that I get are between mediums and smalls um, and basically I have a lot of size 10s that sold but that was well that was a mixture of shoes this isn't very accurate all right um, so the top state that I sold to would be it's looking like it's Florida so that's uh, well, excuse me so I sold more to people in Texas than anywhere else and then Florida's next and then California so um, that's a little bit of a change when it comes to the Florida part because last um, last year and all it was Georgia was like I sold more to Georgia than any other state alright so that's all of that you, you've heard what I made whatnot so let me go ahead and get into what sold alright so let's get into what sold um, let me try to balance this out from top to the bottom let's see randomize how are we gonna do this well that doesn't work all right so 
if you are aware how the sales report is on Poshmark, if you sell items, like say I sold multiple of these items in December. So those items are on January sales report because the people did not accept those items until after January. So these were a lot of these were from the late December. So on this, I'm not going to go over everything here because some of these things sold in December. It's just they were not accepted until January. And that's why their sales reports on Poshmark do it like that. When you get the money is when they consider it that month, I guess. So um, since they didn't accept until January 1st or January 2nd, it's considered a January sale. So I'm going to start with the January sales. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go through the items that sold for over $20. Um... And yeah, so I'm going to do it like that today because um, there's a lot of stuff and I really don't want to, my battery will die before I'm done with it. So the first item that I sold were a pair of Etro Paisley print slacks. If you're familiar with Etro, you know these retail for hundreds of dollars. I did sell them for $70 um, and my net earnings were $56 on those that was sold to somebody in Florida. Uh, the next item was a Michael Kors brown leather uptown aster hobo bag and I got that luckily for two bucks that was and I had it authenticated and it was real um, I sold it for fifty dollars so I made a forty dollar profit on that uh, a pair of Etienne Marcel mid-rise skinny classic jeans I sold for forty dollars and that was a thirty two dollar profit uh, Vineyard Vine Stripe Flutter Sleeve Flounce Dress. I sold that for $38 and I made a $30 profit off of that. Uh, Sam Edelman Ruby Velvet Flats. I love these shoes. They're so pretty, but I, I could have kept them for myself, but I sold them. Um, I sold them for $34 and I made a $27.20 earnings off of that. Uh, rag and bone jean legging in Shoreditch. I sold that for $34. Yes, I know that was way too low for those, but I paid like under $4 for those, so it was a good one. So that was $25 earnings. Um, sometimes I mark things way down when I'm trying to make the money because I'm like, okay, I need this much money to, you know, reach my goal for the day or to reach my goal for the week, and that's what I'll do. So, um, a pair of Seven for All Mankind Dojo Wide Leg Jeans. They sold for $32. I made $25. Uh, Everlane Burgundy Silk Blouse sold for $32. I made $19. Uh, Cabby Wide Leg Cargo Trousers. They sold for $30. I made $24. Lily Pulitzer Out to Lunch Bird Cage Halter Dress. I put Out to Lunch Bird Cage because I didn't really know what the name of the dress was, but that's what was on it. So. Um, I, that sold for $28. I made $22. Uh, Tory Burch Black Alice Double Knit Leggings took forever to sell. And I paid 50 cents for these at the bins. And they were 100% real, but nobody wanted them. And they were in excellent condition. And I sold those for $27.81. And I made a $22 profit off of those. Uh, Anthropology Ed Me and Esley Sketchbook Dress. Um, I sold that for $27 and I made 20 off of that it was a gorgeous dress I love that it's so pretty uh, free people intimately crochet bodycon dress I sold that for $25 I made a $20 profit uh, miss me boot cut studded jeans I sold those for 25 another $20 profit um, Cole Haan white side sand white slide sandals uh, those were a really small size they were a 5.5 and they sat for a while. So I sold those for $25 as well. And I made $18.50 off of them. Uh, Cabby Sloan Red Pink Tweed Peacoat. <laughs> and I sold it for $25. I could have got more out of it. But like I said, I was trying to make my quota. I guess you'll call it. Um, I made $18 off of that one. Uh, Lily Pulitzer Thrill of the Chase Dress. I sold it for $25. And I made $18.50 off of that. 
um, let's see, a pair of Dansko Brown Sela pull-up platform wedges. They sold for $22, and I made $17.60 off of that. A Kinsey Olive Green Rebecca Stretch Crepe Blazer. I uh, sold it for $20, and I made $16. A Torrid Plaid Skater Dress. I sold for $20 and made $16. A Free People Striped Embroidered Cuff Thermal. It was like a long sleeve t-shirt. Sold it for $20, made $16. There's a lot of those. A lot of six LuLaRoe tall and curvy leggings. I took a, a I took less than what I paid for these. I, all right, so I paid five dollars for each of these. They were brand new. That's why I paid so much for them. I know you can find them for like a dollar each at you know the thrift store or you know the bins, but they were so cute and they were so soft. And I was like, I'm gonna get them. But for this person, I took twenty dollars. Um, I, they were, I paid 30 for them, but I went ahead and took 20, so I only made 16 off of those. Um, but some other sales this month obviously paid for that, so it's fine. Uh, Gucci Strappy Slingback Heeled Sandals, if that's even what they were called. Um, I sold those for 20. The reason I sold those for so cheap is they were older, and like the bottoms were really rough um, and there's also a little snap that was kind of broken it just needed to be glued back down but um, otherwise like the sandal itself was beautiful and um, they gave me a five star rating on it they liked them so I mean they were cute but they did they sat for a long time and I just kept lowering the price and lowering the price and finally somebody wanted it so um, the next item that I sold was and this is the last one for over 20 but this was a soft surroundings half zip paisley tunic dress so cute so cute it was a size large um i sold it for oh excuse me 1962 so i gave them a discount obviously but i had it listed i think i took 20 dollars for some i don't know something but so i sold that one for 20 i believe i think they bought it with something else oh yeah they did they bought it with something else so they did get a little discount so it went down in 1962 um, but I made $15.70 off of that, and I paid 2 bucks for that dress. So um, those are the items that sold for over $20. I had a lot of bundles this month, um, and I've had a lot of inventory coming in. I'm trying to post stuff at least once a week. I'm not doing it every day. I know people say, list five things a day. You know, I, I just like to list it all at one time as I have it, because I still have bags over here full of stuff that needs to be... Uh, photographed and listed but I keep on going and buying more stuff I have a problem I know I need help <laughs> so anyway but yeah so those are some of the top items that sold um, there's really nothing that I'm surprised that sold um, and these are all items like brands and stuff that I typically sell like I always sell the exact same brands I haven't really added any new brands into the mix um, I've been trying to look up some other anthropology labels because I really love anthropology like I always find smaller sizes in it but the just the, the style is so gorgeous and um, I think a lot of people really like that style so anyway um, and if you can see the mess behind me, I apologize, but you know, I'm in the mix of getting things done around here. I'm looking in this viewfinder, I'm like, oh gosh, there's a mess over here, there's a mess over here. If only you saw the floor, like, it's rough. But, alright, that is it for this video. I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. So, let's recap. I sold 167 items in the month of January so far, and I have... A net earnings of $1,500 and $2,000 in sales um, yeah so I basically brought home right at about thousand dollars after well a little over a thousand dollars after the cost of goods so it was a good month I mean for the fact that I'm back to work now I have a full you know full-time paycheck coming back in I mean that extra thousand dollars a month really it, it does help I was thinking about trying to do Poshmark full-time and maybe quitting my job I don't know I put my two weeks notice in but they asked me today if I wanted to rescind it and I talked to them about that and I may rescind it I don't know yet it depends on 
what they're able to do as in some well there's just a lot it's a lot of weird stuff but anyway so I don't know I'm I think this was a good month for me I've been trying my hardest to reach that two thousand dollar mark and you know December was pretty bad month for me um, but this month really did pick up I don't know I, I mean I can strive for next month so hopefully next month um, things will get a little bit better um, so what I'm about to do now is I'm about to write up a blog post listing all of the sub labels uh, for anthropology because I was looking last night on their website and there was a ton of sub labels that they have that I completely ignore when I'm at the store and I remember the names I'm like because the tags look different to me and it always sticks out to me and those were anthropology tags and I just left them and I so I always pick up anthropology I don't I don't care what it is I always pick it up so I'm a little bummed I've missed out on some things so I'm going to do a blog post about that so I can actually print it up and take it with me um, so yeah that is it so I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions comments or concerns um, you can comment below you can contact me on Instagram by a direct message um, if you're not familiar my Instagram username is at Allie Bethany I'll put that here on the screen and that's it so have a great night and I will see you guys for the next what's sold which will be the end of February so have a great day bye